What's going on folks? Ted from Nerd Immersion here. I'm here at the Alchemy booth at PAX East 2023 and it is moments away from closing, but that doesn't stop us from having this interview. So I'm here with Chris. We're going to talk a lot about Alchemy and basically whatever he wants to talk about. I'm giving him a venue for this. You've seen me. You know what? You saw me here last year when Alchemy first showed up out of nowhere, but here we are. So Chris, hi. Hey, what's going on, folks? Uh, you know what? Um, this is a this is a special moment because last year we were standing right here. We were launching into early access. We were bright-eyed and bushy-tailed and wondering if this thing would ever do anything. Here we are a year later, excited about launching our version one and uh, going to Kickstarter. So pretty stoked. So some people saw rumors of a Kickstarter a little bit ago, but now we are for real, though. Yeah. Yeah, we got the question a lot because for some reason Kickstarter is a rite of passage for everyone in this industry saying, uh, I didn't back this on Kickstarter, when's this going? And uh, we never had any plans to do that. Uh, now we've got several reasons to do that. So yeah, we're going. Do, do we have a date for Kickstarter? We do. The date, uh, we'll just spoil this right now, April 18th, 2023, uh, three weeks from now, we're basically going to fly home from PAX and get to work. Um, but we're super close. We're almost ready to fulfill this thing already. Uh, but uh, April 18th will be the date. So you heard it here first. That is the official, I mean, he's held to it on video now, so you can't, <laughs> this is going on the internet. It lives forever. Um, we only live once. So what is, so people have been playing around. We've been talking about uh, importing from D&D Beyond, all sorts of crazy stuff you can do with Alchemy, as well as all the stuff that's already there. Because there is a fair amount of stuff that you can go in and just play around with as it stands. Why Kickstarter and what's on this Kickstarter that makes it different from what you already have? Yeah. So uh, Alchemy is a cinematic storytelling environment, AKA a virtual tabletop. Um, and we are fully embracing that. We will have virtual tabletop features. We will have Fog of War. We will have Snap to Grid, Hex Grids, all the things that you might need. We're also gonna have a really great place to tell cinematic stories, role play, theater of the mind. That's kind of our, bread and butter. Why, we're, why are we going to Kickstarter? Well, because we've been in early access for a year. We've swept up in a lot of dusty corners. We've got a bunch of user data. We've squashed a lot of bugs. Uh, and so we're ready for a version one. But most importantly, we have uh, spent all of last year gaining over 55 content partners, um, shaking hands, signing contracts, and really sitting on those things for, for a long time. We, uh, we have a bunch of folks internal to Alchemy who have been ingesting this content nonstop, and we are ready to show it to the world and, uh, and really get it out there. I think uh, the other thing is, thirdly, um, we're ready to release what we call Alchemy Enhanced. And Alchemy Enhanced is a uh, new way to sort of up-level some of the content that we're bringing on the platform. If Alchemy is all about cinematic immersion and we're doing nothing but converting books to Alchemy, we want to convert those books and then we want to up-level them with motion graphics and bespoke UIs and uh, original scores and ambient soundscapes, all the things that make the Alchemy experience wonderful. So pray tell these licenses, these content partners, what are we talking about? I mean, it sounds it sounds like a lot, right? You're saying you're gonna be pulling in motion graphics and all this kind of stuff. And I've seen what Alchemy has done in the past and it's very pretty, but are we, well, I don't know, just show me what you're talking about. I know it's going to come up here and we're going to have video that you'll be interspersed, but show the people what they want to see. Yeah, I mean, for the last year, we've been flying out to these conventions. We've got a really cool booth. We have a great team. They're all really good looking people and we have a great looking platform. Um, but people keep asking, like, how powerful is it? Can I uh, have macros? Can I have automation? Can I do uh, this, that, and the other thing? And the answer is yes. Uh, we've been working really, really hard to build support for every single game system. We have a system builder. We call it Systemless uh, or Custom on the platform internally. We call it Customless. Uh, and, um, and so Pathfinder 2E, uh, the Year Zero engine, uh, Powered by the Apocalypse, Cypher, whatever it is, we've got it. We've been working on it behind the scenes. This Kickstarter is going to be all about it. Alchemy Enhanced itself is all about a bespoke custom UI that matches the story world. So we're going to look at Alien in a second, which is not going to be on the Kickstarter, but will be available on Alchemy. Licensing, Disney, hello. Yeah, sure. um, but every single Alchemy Enhanced title is meant to be something that looks really great for that title, but also something that can be broken apart and used in any of your sci-fi games, any of your homebrew Alien games, Blade Runner games, whatever it is. 
Um, so it comes with uh, an animated uh, uh, like lobby graphic, like a title graphic, but then it comes with 10 motion overlays that can be used in any piece of artwork behind, comes with uh, an original score, and it comes with 10 uh, ambient soundscapes. So all of those things can be mi mixed and matched and uh, used in your homebrew games. All right, let's see it. All right, so here's the demo of, whoop. There it goes. Nice. Look at this alchemy. Swatted it down. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, here is the uh, animated lobby screen. So this is Alien. Again, this will not be on the Kickstarter, uh, but it will be available after our Kickstarter. Um, and we'll have several uh, uh, other games available on the campaign. But uh, you can see here that it's fully alchemy, if you know what alchemy looks like, but it's skinned to look like Alien. So we've got you know, our green scan lines, we've got this really great uh, animated graphic of the cover art from the book, and we have this incredible score uh, in the background. So if we move through the gameplay experience, the first step that we have is what we call exploration. So exploration is gonna have sort of this uh, vibe that is very much uh, exploratory. We're uh, investigating an off-world planet, we're looking at these strange alien creatures, uh, and we, so we're building that vibe. We're all about chasing those vibes in alchemy from the story, storytelling perspective. And we also have role play, right? Uh, so role play, we are doing a lot of character dialogue, we're developing backstories, and you can see in this, we've got motion overlays that are bespoke to the alien experience. We've kind of got these light rays that are shooting up. We've got a flickering light from the spaceship at the top. And uh, there's going to be a whole bunch more of this stuff. And then we have combat, always combat. Um, and so, yeah, we're depicting a combat scene here. We've got the amplified music. It's kind of intense, kind of crazy. But also, we see this whole model take a completely different shape for something like Tales from the Loop. Um, which has its own very distinct look to it. Uh, thanks to the, the creators, Freely Publishing has done an um, amazing job creating a, a super stylized look and feel. And we've amplified that to a multimedia experience with music, ambient sound effects, and of course, creating motion for the, uh, the background here. Now let me ask you, because as a content creator, a lot of us run into this. This is all original scores that's contained in here. Now, if I were to stream this or record this and upload this, this is gonna be a DMCA free score. I'm not gonna get slammed by Disney for some score and then immediately taken down? Absolutely. Okay. So yeah, that's, that's part of why we're the ones that's taking on this work of creating all this content is so that we can offer that DMCA free to all of our, all of our users who buy it. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so also so that we can supplement that on our platform. It's something that we're kind of wanting to amplify. It's, not necessarily something that the creators are saying, well, we want to have music, we want to have motion. No, they want to make books. We want to create these amplified experiences, and so we're providing it. So at some point in the future, we will have an alien live stream here on the channel using Alchemy Enhanced whenever that's a thing that we're able to do. Can't wait for that. So that's going to be a thing. I'll be playing in it, which I'm actually very excited about. So you'll get to see it firsthand if you're a little weary or unsure about this. Not to mention, as time goes on and things develop, we'll have tutorials and stuff that I'll have kind of just, you know, if you're going into this blind, how hard is it to make something? And we played around here at the conventions. And if you do happen to go to a convention where Alchemy is there, it's pretty easy to just go in and play around. But uh, so that's Alchemy Enhanced. That's the Kickstarter. Is there anything else you want to kind of cover in this? I kind of want to leak the rewards. Okay. All right. I'm great at leaks. We know this. <laughs> Good. Give me what you got. So yeah, I, I, my official title at the company is Leak, uh, Leak Guy. Um, so our rewards, we sort of have this inspiration of wanting to create ward, uh, rewards that are both physical and digital. So we're in these physical spaces a lot. We've attain, attended six cons last year. We're gonna do six cons this year. And we wanna to continue to be in local game stores. We wanna have a physical presence because that's where people are. Sure. And also, uh, all of us who are in this community are transmedia collectors. We like to play on VTTs, we cross-reference PDFs, and we like to also buy books to put on our shelves and flip through when we have time, which yeah. we never do. No, we, uh, believe me, yes, I know. You see the stack in my normal videos of things I haven't opened yet. So let's talk about rewards, digital, physical. Uh, also, um, we want to really capitalize on this moment of this being a once in a lifetime moment. If you could go back 10, 12 years ago and look up Roll20 on Kickstarter, Roll20, the mainstay platform we all know and love, really kind of christened this term of virtual tabletop. 
if we would have known 12 years ago that it would have been what it was today, maybe we all would have backed it for some exclusive reward to say, I was there from the beginning. But we want to uh, create opportunities for people to really cement their names into our foundation. So that's kind of another inspiration here. So uh, the first thing that we have to offer, obviously we have a premium subscription. We're going to be offering that on six month, one year lifetime memberships. Sounds great. Awesome. Baseline. We're also going to be offering uh, what we call a backer account. And so this is something that's going to triangulate your Kickstarter backer number to your Alchemy account number. And that will be displayed on your badge. So if you are backer number five, forever uh, solidified in your Alchemy account, you will have a badge that says, I back this company and, uh, or this product and I am number five. Pretty standard. This is where it gets exciting. So we are going to be offering a lot of content on our Kickstarter and we're going to be uh, creating physical manifestations for it in the form of cards. So you've seen our cards before. We released a whole product line last year called the Founder Box. Yep. I sent you one. Yes, so you, you saw me actually unbox it here at PAX East last year in my hotel room. That's right, you paid for it, it was great. Yeah, it was super, super great. <laughs> uh, so we love that because we love physical products and we love making things that are beautiful, nice to hold. And uh, so what we're gonna be doing is making five different content decks that are representative content titles on our platform but also manifest as physical cards. So these cards will be collectible, you'll be able to keep them, put them on your shelf, whatever, but you'll also be able to scan a QR code and redeem them for the content on the platform. So this first deck here is our fantasy deck. They're all thematic. And uh, just to kind of reveal a few of the titles that we have, uh, the first one is gonna be um, Forbidden Lands Alchemy Enhanced. So all, everything that you saw for Alien, we're doing the same treatment for Forbidden Lands. Fantastic game. Wonderful experience, wonderful vibe of this world. We're really excited to be uh, building an enhanced version of this. Also, we have uh, the uh, Pathfinder 2E Core Rulebook, mm -hmm. generously provided by Paizo. We're so excited to uh, create Pathfinder support uh, and finally get that on the Alchemy. Also, our friends at Cobalt Press um, are gonna be bringing on Scarlet Citadel, which is an awesome adventure. Uh, very visual, lots of maps, lots of assets. All of it's gonna be playable on Alchemy. And then um, our best friends at Hit Point Press uh, from their new book, Humblewood Tales. Uh, they're gonna be bringing on an adventure that's also gonna be available in this deck, which is so great. And our new friends at Steamforge Games will be bringing on Epic Encounters for the, the fantasy deck. Awesome, well, a lot I've reviewed and talked about a lot of these, so all good stuff. What else do we have aside from just fantasy? So, uh, for those of you prefer to play more in the future side of things, sci-fi, we'll kind of fly through this stuff, but we've got Coriolis, we've got Fallout from Modiphius, Vast Grim from Infinite Black, we've got Still, F Still Fleet, which is a super cool kind of political intrigue sci-fi game by an indie developer that we're really excited to kind of put under the umbrella of these big titles. Uh, and then also the Wild Sea from Mythopoeia, uh, changing their name to Mythic Works, um, but we're really excited about kind of shining a light on these indie developers as well. Uh, our third deck is horror themed. We've got Vason, we've got Call of Cthulhu from our friends at Chaosium, who are incredible. Another Hit Point Press property here in Shift, which is their own proprietary uh, game system, which has a super cool adventure called Maelstrom. I'll spare you the details, but you should definitely go check that out. Um, also our friends at Loot Tavern with Heliana's Guide to Monster Hunting and Nord Games bringing the ultimate best series of the Dreaded Accurse. The fourth deck that you can get on the campaign is more of a modern feel. So Tales from the Loop, Kids on Bikes Second Edition from Hunters Entertainment, and uh, City of Mist from Son of Oak. The last deck is called Apocalyptic, and this deck is really special because it's effing hardcore. Oh, fancy. All right. I, I censored myself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it is YouTube, so fair. Yeah. Uh, so this deck is going to be helmed by Morkborg, which we are absolutely over the moon to be developing an enhanced version for. We created Alchemy for these types of titles and we are so excited to make this happen. Also Pirate Borg from Limithron and Cyberpunk from Mythopoeia as well. Um, there's uh, 10 cards in all of these decks, I should say that uh, these are just kind of some highlights that I'm showing you guys. Um, but this deck will only be available in what we're calling the backer box, which is a box set here, which includes all five card ducks card decks, as well as some other exclusive Alchemy merchandise. Stretch goals. Okay. Wow. Okay, here we go. 
So uh, I can't leak everything because uh, my, my co-founder's here, my COO is here, my lawyer is here. Um, and so we could tell you that uh, we're going to have lots of free league enhanced titles on this Kickstarter, starting with the Runes of Symbarum, Dragon Bane, which still is yet to ship, but we're really excited to be a part of that uh, um, launch. And then several other titles that we're going to be giving some extra special love to that will be available as stretch goals and add-ons on the campaign. That's it. April, April 18th. April 18th, folks. Well, we saw all of it here. Again, I'll have... Uh, if you have more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments about Alchemy. I have... I, Chris doesn't leave me alone. I don't leave him alone. So if you have questions, I can go right to the source to get you the answer, make follow-up videos. But if you're curious to see more about Alchemy in general, let me know. We can make tutorials. If not, keep your eye out for a video coming from me, but also the Kickstarter launching on April 18th. Anything else you'd like to tell the people? You're all in good hands with Ted. Thanks so much. Appreciate y'all. All right. I'll see you next time.